Naomi the Crafty Savage here, and I'm back with the next letter of the ABC's Shay J Reed style. So this diamond painting comes to us from Rhinestone Goddess Creations. I will have them and Shay J Reed's all their links down in the description box if you would like to go check them out and order you a diamond painting. Let's get into this, right? So today's letter of the day is S, right? So that could be sneaker, shoe. A sneaker and a shoe is the same thing. Hmm. A snake, a sewer, a slushy. What else begins with an S? Sleep. We all love sleep, right? So in every rhinestone goddess creations canvas, you will get an inventory sheet. This is a older kit. The new kits now come with this inventory sheet as well as a sticker sheet that you can either put on the baggies, you can put them on your containers if that's how you like to work out of your, you know, work with your, bit, 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 bit. work on your painting. Dear Lord, baby Jesus, I cannot talk. Whew. Slap them on your forehead, slap them on the wall, decorate your car with them. Whatever it is you want to do, it is your stickers to do with. You do have the option if you want to get a toolkit. You can opt out of the toolkit. In the toolkit, you get a pair of tweezers. You get your wax container. You get a diamond painting tray, your little purple squishy. There's a diamond painting pen in here with a single placer and a two placer, plus a big mamba jamba multi-placer as well. You will also get, and I, I love this, I wish every diamond painting company did this. You will get this plastic sleeve. So once you take it out of my nemesis, the hard plastic, you can wrap your drills up here with the inventory sheet and just slide it into this plastic bag here. Got the little you know, strip. You can seal it up, store it away. Whatever you want to do with it. I think every diamond painting company should do this. I love this. I do know Lauren is planning on to start shipping your paintings out in the boxes. I don't think she's gotten that far yet, but it is in the works. So let's get into this painting, right? Right. So here is the inventory sheet. It is a 55 by 75 centimeter. You can see the image right there. This diamond painting has 53 colors and two A, Bs, All right? Good gravy. So before I fight with my nemesis, I did want to let you know that there is a 100% warranty. You got free shipping on all Rhinestone Goddess Creations canvases. She offers customs. You can get your diamond paintings with A, Bs, without A, Bs. Like I said, the, the toolkit, you can get it with the toolkit, without the toolkit. This diamond painting is a square that I will be showing today. But if you like the image, you can also get it in a round. They have so many options for you that you just, you can't go wrong. You just can't go wrong, right? So, let's see. Is my nemesis going to be nice to me today? I really, I really hope so. I really hope so. Right. Woohoo! It likes me! So, on your paintings, there's usually anywhere from one to three rubber bands wrapped around it. It does also have a, I'll show you real quick, a little styrofoam wrapped around your canvas so that way it will not bend in shipping it will not get crushed it is protected right all of the rhinestone goddess creations canvases are silk flocking material like they are whew, they are soft i could just sit here and pet this till the cows come home but that's not what you came to see you came to see the image right so here is the little styrofoam rollies we don't need them. Let's get rid of them. All of the Rhinestone Goddess Creations canvases are poured glue. So you are able to roll it back on itself and not have to worry about, you know, ruining your glue, the canvas. Do not do this with a double-sided adhesive canvas. 
you're going to mess up your canvas, you're going to mess up the glue. I'm not saying you still can't work on the painting, you can, but it's going to be a nightmare and nobody wants that, right? That's, it's supposed to be enjoyable. We don't want it to be miserable, but voila, oh my gosh, look at her. Do you see her? She is just, oh. So I'm pretty sure that S stands for snake. You can see there is a frame around this picture. You, if she, some of J Reed's artwork, she will make a frame to go around it. Some of them she doesn't. You have the option as well as if you want to order the diamond painting with the frame or without the frame if the image, you know, has a frame that goes with it. What I do love and what I have noticed is that Shay J. Reed, she ties in the frame somehow into the painting. So this looks like a snake skin. And I'm pretty sure that is the big monstrous snake, right? Let's quickly check out this canvas though. At the top of every canvas, you have your rhinestone goddess creations logo. On the top left hand side, you also as well have your, what is that? Not an inventory sheet, dear Lord, baby Jesus. Your legend, that's what it is. Oh my gosh, my brain just went on vacation. It tells you the number of the bag. It lets you know what symbol that is and the DMC color. Right. At the bottom left-hand side, you have the thumbnail, right? Whoop. The thumbnail of the image, the name of the painting, S is for, and of course, it is by none other than the most fantastic artist out there, Miss Shay J. Reed herself. Let you know the size of the painting. Again, this is a 55 by 75 centimeter. Comes to us from Rhinestone Goddess Creations. This number right here, this F9379, on all of your drills, if you happen to store your canvas separate from your drills, it will let you know what drills go to what canvas to make it so much easier. At the bottom in the middle, you have the rhinestone goddess22 at yahoo.com, the email, as well as on the bottom right, you have another legend. That way, if you're working on your painting and you have it rolled up, you can still see your legend and what symbols go to what, right? Let's take a look at the symbol quality. As you can see, the symbols are clear. They are easy to read. You're not gonna have any problems figuring out what symbols are what. Throw a light pad underneath here and they will pop out even more, right? Let's quickly take a look at the color of these drills. Another good thing about Rhinestone Goddess Creations is if you hate kidding up, it already comes kit up for you. It's in the bags. Like it makes it so much easier to kit up and kit down. But this is our color palette. We got some grays, some greens, just kind of like autumn colors. You got like a little pop of just different colors. And then we have our ABs down here. And we will get into ABs. No, they are not men's abs as much as all of us diamond painting ladies wish they were. We would have quadruple the amount of diamond paintings if that was the case, right? I did forget to show you with the square diamond paintings, or yeah, the square drills. As you can see, there are no like little knobbly bits, no dimples. These are really fantastic square drill so you don't have to worry about popping i'm not seeing any trash and i have showed a lot of the square drills from them and when i say it looks like they have some high quality square drills they really do so you don't have to worry about you know drills popping off but you're probably wondering you hear me is it sticky though am i gonna have to seal it am i gonna you know put all this time and effort in it are the drills just gonna fall off because they won't stick to the canvas? Let's do what I like to call the stage five clinger test, right? Your drills are not gonna go anywhere, I promise you. Do you see? 
My hand is still stuck on this, and I promise you, I am like flinging this thing around. So, yes. No worries there. But let's take an image of this. She kind of reminds me of like Eve, and I like how she's got like the reddish orange hair there. We have our apples up here. Maybe this is like supposed to be like an Adam and Eve with the snake. Hmm. You got, you know, I don't know if those are, I don't think it's roses, but you got like flowers back here. They're kind of hard to see in the bushes. You have your apple tree over here. You have the leaves in her hair. What does she have in her hand? What is that? Is that a heart? Or no, I think it's an apple she's got in her hand. Look at me being all morbid over here. Is that a heart in her hand? No, it's an apple, Naomi. Dear Lord, baby Jesus. You got the vines around her, you know, as like her clothing being wrapped around her legs. Oh, she is, she is just adorable. I am loving her. All right, let's find out where these ABs go, shall okay, we? Okay, so if you're new to diamond painting... You know, again, like I said, ABs are not men's abs as much as we all wish they are. It is just what we call these drills, right? It's just an extra little shiny coating that they put on them that when the light hits it, you know, it reflects and makes it shine more. Makes the other drills around it when the light hit reflects off of them, makes them shine bright even more. So this like purplish, darker color, number 52, is going to be like in the dark parts of the roses, or not the roses, they are not roses. If I call them roses, just know I mean flowers. In the flowers in here, I keep hitting this damn tripod. Number 53, we have two bags of 53, and when I say it is all over, it is sprinkled all throughout the scales all around the frame, all throughout the scales in the snake going up here. You even have some sprinkled in the apples here. It is everywhere. Now, I think they did a pretty good job, you know, on where they placed the ABs. But again, I would probably, you know me, you know what I'm going to say. I'm going to toss some in her eyes. I don't, I don't know if I would do a green AB or if maybe I'd do like a white, a 5200 right here in the white part of her eye. And I don't know, maybe I would just like bling up the whole freaking frame. But I don't know, that, that might be too much. But other than that, I think they did pretty good with, you know, where, where they had the placings of the ABs. If you were to put ABs in this, where would you add them? I'm curious, put that down in the comment section below. Is this a diamond painting that you would be interested in? Let me know that as well. But with that said, guys, I'm going to hop on out of here. If you're new to the channel and you liked what you saw, hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. And don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. And I'll see you next time, guys. Bye. Bye.